Okay, everybody, oh, look, it's Gojo. That's kind of sad. Anyway, uh, Inspector, season two, episode six, I believe. Wait, is it six? Yeah, it's six. This one's very weird. Um, <clears throat> basically, I would probably say this one was called Electroshock Pinocchio. Very weird. Um, so we don't see we just don't see Kotoko or um, Kuro for like. We don't see them until like the last three minutes of the episode. It's weird. But what we do see in this episode is a few things. Let me go get the, you know, the whole, ah, uh, here we go. Um, what we have in this episode is very strange. Um, we get a few characters who are for this specific situation. Baku Neko, Neko, which is a cat, who is a ghost, Ayakashi, whatever you want to call. He's there at this woman's house. Her name is Tay, T-A-E. And the whole story is that the cat was there. He was in a weakened state and she took him in. And the cat wants to always drink alcohol, which is weird. But that's, that's its thing. Now, the focal point is the town. That's the focal point of this episode. So what we find out about the town is that the town has a problem. And the problem is their fish. It seems like for the month now, all the fish, wildlife, and not just the fish, also other creatures as well in the sea are dead. They're showing up dead in the water. Now, we get some information regarding this. <clears throat> More specifically, it has to involve, if I can find this guy's name, um, I can't find his name. Okay, this is going to be really hard to explain. <laughs> um, there's this individual in the episode. Um, what was his name? Zetsu? Zensetsu? I, I won't remember. I don't, not 100% clear on the guy's name. But he was this old man who had a family. He had um, a son who got married and had a kid. Now this kid got, who was the Zetsu's grandson, got run over by a car from these crazy tourists, college kids. And they couldn't save him because there was too much traffic in the, in the town and they didn't get him to the hospital in time. And he died. The reason why the episode is called Electric Shock Pinocchio is because this old man makes a Pinocchio. Legit makes a Pinocchio. And what's weird is that he makes the Pinocchio and Tayson goes to his house to see if he's okay. He's dead. On the right hand of the Pinocchio doll is this rock or gem stuck in there. Later on we find out this Pinocchio apparently has lightning powers. Go figure. And he's terrorizing the, the wildlife in the ocean. He actually has a fight with a giant crab and a gorilla. That was weird. But he goes into the ocean every night. Does this every night, this Pinocchio. Comes to life and goes into the ocean and he uses his electric powers to kill the wildlife in the ocean. Now, 
that's basically what, what transpires. So we get that whole information. Most of the episode is really about this. We don't see Kotoko until the last three ep- minutes. And it seems like it's going in that direction because, you know, the mayor is talking to Tayson on one point in the episode saying about Pinocchio. And she said, the little Tayson's like, not that Pinocchio, the movie, the original, the book, the novel, which is a lot more darker and depressing, not like the movie. So she referenced that in this episode. But it seems like what occurs here, um, what is occurring here is that this old man, he created Pinocchio to be like his son, his grandson, and now he's going around killing the fish because he's trying to get revenge on the town. Now, with all that information thrown to us, of course, the Pinocchio's not stopped. He's terrorizing fish, and he's destroying the fish, and those Ayakashi ghost things that are there, the crab, the giant crab, and the, the gorilla... They're unable to defeat him. Then he gets out of the ocean. He goes back into the mountains, the Pinocchio, to dry off. And the cat tells Tayson, I've informed the lady, Kotoko. So, as it were, Kotoko shows up with Kuro to the house. They give him, give her snacks and a sake bottle. And that's where the episode ends. We're just introduced to her, and seemingly, you know, they interact. Little funny things with Kotoko and the cat. She's pulling his cheeks and shit because he was not supposed to reveal himself to her and invade her house. Go figure. But that was the episode. So this is weird to me because... I mean, listen, anime is anime. They pull things from different sources as far as source material is concerned, as far as interesting, you know, stories and whatnot. What I find interesting about this story is, first of all, it's not the same thing. Pinocchio was created by Geppetto because his son died. This guy's grandson died, and he creates Pinocchio. I can tell you right now, if Pinocchio, the original story, had a rock in his right hand and he's shooting lightning, I'm like, okay, that's a little bit too much. I don't think Disney could get away with that. I think that's a little bit too much for me. But this is a kind of weird story. I mean, so far this season with these these cases that Kotoko goes through with Kuro, we've had the uh, statue of the sumo wrestler. We've had the Yuki Ona. I think the Yuki Ona was a lot more involved, a lot more. It was a lot more detailed than the other stories were. Like episode one was a one and done episode. It happened. The event happened, they resolved it, moving on. Yuki Ono, that took a while. That took three episodes to go through. Because you had the story, then you had uh, Kotsuko talking to them, and then, okay, resolution. Then after that, we had the, I believe, was the Rika thing, which wasn't a big deal. It was Rika, she's traveling, she's trying to get Koro away from Kotoko, because she doesn't like Kotoko. She hates her. And then we have basically the uh, the mystery of the apartment. So that's what we've had so far. We've had one and dones. We had three one and done cases. And now we have this case. But what's interesting about this case is that it's taking from Western literature, which I find strange. Hmm. You know, I, I, it's done, I don't know he's done that before, but not to this extent and not this detailed. And it's a twist because you have a Pinocchio 
who's walking around with a, a lightning hand. Go figure. But it's interesting and it's a little different than what we've been doing for the last couple episodes. Last couple episodes, all we've been dealing with is, you know, ghosts, suicides, and a murder. Here, we're dealing with something outside the norm. Because the thing is, this is being based on an actual book. Pinocchio. Okay. <laughs> I just find it weird. I, I don't know. Call me crazy. But as far as episode was concerned, the specific episode of it and what was going on, I thought it was intriguing enough. I thought it was interesting. But I didn't really piece together everything until the very end. And I was like, so this is what we're doing. We're doing Pinocchio in this anime. Okay, but uh, <clears throat> I thought it was great. I thought it was interesting. Uh, kind of weird. It took me a while. It took us a bit more while to get the code to go, but uh, I enjoyed it. I thought uh, nine out of ten. You know, I got to see more because it seems like we're not. It's not a one and done because they took so long, and then they, she shows up in like the last three minutes. So next week is probably going to be their resolution of how the results, which I can rather tell is probably going to be Kuro fighting the Pinocchio. <laughs> he's going to get shot by lightning and he's going to come back. Like, yeah. But tell, let me ask you guys what you think about this episode, about the Pinocchio thing. <laughs> it's weird because, you know, I know anime brings a lot of factors from different sources into their stories, into their animes, into their mangas, into everything. But this was kind of weird for me to see it as a one-off. One-off story in a main, you know, anime and so on and so forth. But this is Bambanka 922. I can tell you right now, Walt Disney would get sued up the a-hole if Pinocchio had a lightning arm shooting people. Jesus. I'll see you guys later. Peace.